22nd commemorations of World Biodiversity Day took place beginning of May in the Oanguena region, one of few places in Namibia where a community forest forms a central part in the life of almost 1,500 people. Last year, Namibia joined hands together with 35 other countries across the globe to add their voice to sensitizing its people on the importance of World Biodiversity Day. The venue was at the Mystic Brandberg in the Irongo region, famous for its rock paintings. Aged at more than 5,000 years, the white lady never ceased to amaze those who visit her cave. This year the focus was on the Omuni forest on the border between the Kavangu and the Oanguena region, with Angola bordering the northern part of the forest. However, the trees found here play a much bigger role than actually anticipated. Some will see the forest as a group of trees, while others will see enough wood to last many generations to be used as a source of energy. Trees are more than an energy source, it provides shade and protection for man and beast alike while it provides material for subsistence farmers to build their homes, storage space for their crops or fence of their crop fields for protection. Trees can also be described as an oxygen factory or the poor man's air conditioner as it provides him with a cool place during hot summer days. The 2011 World Biodiversity Day was graced with many dignitaries who gathered at the two-day-long celebrations at Okongo in the far north of Namibia. Among them, the Queen of the Okonyama tribe, Queen Martha Nilumbu, and the Minister of Environment, who takes the protection and conservation of Namibia's natural resources at heart. Representatives from the United Nations Development Fund, UNDP, the Global Environment Fund, GEF, GIZ, a German assistance organization, Edu Ventures, and the Ministries of Environment and Defense all took part in the two-day-long fund action. The Minister of Environment, who delivered the keynote address, explained the importance of such a remarkable event. The Biodiversity Action Day, which is held annually to commemorate the International Day for Biological Diversity. The annual Biodiversity Action Day is an important initiative of the Ministries of Environment and Tourism and the Ministry of Agriculture and its partners aimed at drawing attention to the value of ecosystem and other biological diversity through a 24 hours filled with fun yet very educational program. Namibians by nature are conservationists as we all are aware of the important role that Namibia's beauty play in our country, especially a tourist destination. I'm equally pleased to note that the overall objective of this day is in the line with the vision and the mission of the Minister of Environment and Tourism that is, and I quote, to promote biodiversity, conservation in the Namibian environment through the sustainable utilization of natural resources and tourism development for the maximum social and economic benefit of its citizens. The theme International Year of the Forest 2011, Forest for the People, does not mean that man can now take advantage and do whatever they please with the natural resources. No, the constitution are still there to ensure law and order remains. The Namibian constitution clearly make us to understand the importance of biodiversity by dictating to us to put in place all policies and programs which will ensure the protection of our ecosystem for the current and the future generation. And we who are here today are the ones who are the custodian of this biodiversity to make sure that the future generation also benefit like us. So what is the significance of Namibia's approach in protecting her resources, while we still have to make a living from what she offers? It is significant that this particular event this year coincides with the United Nations proclaimed International Year of Biodiversity, as you have heard already. The year 2011 
was declared an international year of forestry to raise awareness and strengthen the sustainable forest management, conservation, and sustainable development of all types of forest for the benefit of the current and the future generation. Once each and every Namibian, visitor, and most of all, the younger generation understand the importance of every living creature walking, crawling, flying, or even swimming the face of the earth, we can say, yes, mission accomplished. Until then, it is hard work for all to assist those who still see the earth as a place where we can make and break as we wish. Think of it this way. This tree might provide the ideal timber to make a piece of furniture, but it was home to many bird species, insects and provided shade for cattle grazing the area. But now there is nothing left. The bird's nest was destroyed, insects had to move to another habitat and the cattle have no shade.